Hello, I am Dr. Sanjay Panikkar. I founded Amrita Homeopathy in 1997 in a small town in Kerala. Here in Bangalore, we have two clinics, one in Kormangla and the other in Marathali. We specialize in hair and skin problems, respiratory problems, allergies, pediatrics and infertility. Hypothyroidism in women and men have the same symptoms. Even women have this similar presentation as what we see in men. When you see a person with hypothyroidism, many a time we don't even need a test. I can just tell that this patient has got a hypothyroid issue by just examination or certain features that the patient may present with. And any doctor who has been dealing with thyroid issues can do the same. For example, if I check a patient and I find that there is a lump in the region of the throat, then possibly I would think of a thyroid issue in that particular patient. Even when I look at the features of the eyes of a patient, a patient whose eyes are a bit bigger and you can actually see the sclera which is there below the eyeball the black circle in the eye below that the white sclera if you can see it a little more than usual usually you may find some people have very beautiful eyes large eyes are found to be beautiful but many a time there could be a thyroid issue in the background for this this is something which many people can easily diagnose by this symptom Another feature that you may notice is that the ends of the eyebrows of the person becomes very thin and that could be another indication of a thyroid issue. When you examine the scalp of a patient, you may notice that the hair is dry, lustreless, frizzy, getting entangled, which is again a feature of the thyroid issue. This way, even by appearance, we may be able to tell that this patient is probably having a thyroid issue. The second thing that the physician may notice is the voice of the patient. When a lady comes to the doctor and you find that the lady has a very gruff voice, a very hoarse voice, more masculine, masculine voices are supposed to be more gruff and hoarse. When you find a female voice which has become more gruff over a period of time, the patient may not have noticed that, the relatives may not have observed it because it has been there since a long time now. But as soon as you hear a patient, sometimes you may be able to guess that this patient probably has a thyroid issue. I have had many patients coming to me and telling that I have a sore throat and I have a hoarseness of voice and I am not able to, when I try to speak, the voice breaks, cracks and all these kind of features may be one of the indication of a thyroid problem. When you look from head to toe, the hair, hair loss is an indicator of thyroid, brittle hair and dry lustreless hair is an indicator, eyebrows, the edge of the eyebrows is an indicator for becoming thin is an indicator. If the eyeballs are having a stare look, that is again an indication of a thyroid problem. That's more seen in hyperthyroidism and not in hypo. And again, if you find puffiness of the face, it's an indicator of thyroid problem. Edema. Many patients do come and say that I have swelling of the face in the morning when I wake up, swelling of the hands and the feet, which is again possible indicator of a thyroid issue. If you find that the skin is dry, itchy, and there is dry, itchy skin diseases, probably there is a thyroid issue in the background. Again, if you find pigmentation problems, like let us say there is a hyperpigmentation here, there is a melasma coming up here, pigmentation coming up here. So then you must think possibly there is a thyroid issue too in the background. We don't connect that often, you know, so but then it is important to check. And um, again, if you see that the patient is putting on weight, if the patient has um, certain symptoms of the emotions like feeling very depressed, feeling very anxious and feeling unwantedly anxious about situations, palpitations coming up, all are indications of the thyroid issue. Again, if you have constipation, if you have uh, digestive disorders like loose motion, these are all thyroid indication. In hypothyroidism, it's more of constipation. In hyperthyroidism, it's more of 
loose motions so these are indicators which are common to both men and women but in women specifically because of the hypothyroidism they can have period irregularities which is very common in people with hypothyroidism and the second thing is polycystic ovaries many people do come up today with polycystic ovaries and when you look they probably have a thyroid in the background and they tend to put on weight and often think that it is because of the pcod that they are putting on weight and sometimes when we investigate further there is something beyond that which is the thyroid which is not functioning properly too so whenever you have thyroid there is a high chance that your blood cholesterol can go high the polycystic ovaries can start appearing when the patient has polycystic ovaries the cyst itself can secrete testosterone and testosterone being a male hormone causes more male features in the women like for example hoarseness of the voice a particular pattern in which the hair starts thinning out and then you will see that uh, they have developed facial hair which is again an indicator of elevated testosterone or it could also be an indicator of uh, excessive sensitivity of the skin to the minimal testosterone which is there in women